Welcome back. This is Ken from A Driver's View. Here to just talk about a discussion on load shifting. Uh, for you guys that's pulling flatbeds and you new guys are starting into the business, uh, you got to make sure you got enough straps all alongside of your trailer. I would recommend at least 20 straps that can slide up and down the side of your trailer, you know, freely. Uh, I had a load one time that um, I was hauling down to San Antonio, a load of hay. And I also had a load of, um, of, of wooden, they like sticks. It was like, they, like pallets. They made pallets out of them. Anyway, I was driving and uh, I, it was, it was kind of raining a little bit. And I seen this car that was in my rear view mirror on my driver's side uh, coming up fast. But it was coming up on an exit. So I didn't really pay no attention. This guy came around me, got in front of me, since there was cars coming off the ramp just to get off, and he hit his brakes so hard, I swear to God I was going to push him straight up the hill and over the other side. But I ended up slamming on brakes and flashing high beam him. I guess he realized what he did wrong, and he tried to get all over, and then he was raising his hands and blowing his, you know, trying to, I guess, be apologetic. But the whole load shifted forward. And you can see in this picture how the load had shifted. And I had to unload a lot of that by hand. I had to hire this company to come out. These guys came out. We had to take one whole or two whole pallets apart, restack, pull it off the truck, push all the loads back, restack it, and then re, re, uh, retape it. Well, not tape it, but wrap it up. And that thing took like about a minute.